So part one, we have to show that sine x, tan x may be written in this form. Okay, so the first thing we can see is that in this form, we only have cos. We don't have any sine or tan. So how can we do this? Let's think. So we know that uh, tan x is what? Tan x is equal to uh, sine x over cos x. Okay, so now we can use that to see what can we do. So replace this back in the main equation. So here we have sine x times tan x. Now we know tan x is also equal to sine x over cos x. Okay, now simplify. Sine x times sine x will be sine square x, right, over cos x. Now something we know here is from the formulas that we are given, we know that sin x square plus cos x square is equal to 1. So what if you make this become subject? So sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x. Ah, so now we can actually replace this by this in the main equation. So let's continue. So this will go up here. If you think, that will be sin square x will be 1 minus cos square x over the value of cos x. And guess what? This is shown as required, as we need here for part 1. Okay, so what I'm teaching you guys here is also the way we think, the way to proceed, and how do we think about those questions. I think the way we think is the most important thing when it comes down to solving questions. Because the question can always change, but the way you think will always help you to solve them. That is part of the question. Now for part two, hence, so usually hence means using the answer from part one, solve this equation. So solving this. So let's see. So from part one, we have what? So part two, as you can see, we have two sin x tan x is equal to three. Now, pretty easy. We can first send this over here. So divide by 2 on both sides, you will have sin x tan x is equal to 3 over 2. That's the first step. Now, from part 1, we realize that this one is actually equal to this. So we have to replace. Let's see what happened. So you will have 1 minus cos square x over the value of cos x is equal to 3 over 2. Okay, so now we have something to solve. Now the first step is whenever we have fraction equal to fraction, usually we think about doing a cross multiplication. Okay, so you will have 2 minus 2 cos square x is equal to 3 cos x. We have this. Now let's rearrange, let's send everything to one side. You will have 2 cos square x, then uh, plus 3 cos x, then minus 2 will be 0. Now sometimes uh, cos can be kind of scary to work with, so we can do this. We can let u equal to cos x. This is just to help you out. If you don't need to, no problem, continue. But if you want to, you can always do that. You will have 2 u square plus 3 u minus 2, that will be 0. Now as you can see, this one will be a simple quadratic equation. You can solve using factorization or you can solve using the formula. So I will use factorization because I like doing that way. You will have 2u squared is 2u times u. 2 is 2, 2 times 1, we can put 2 here and 1 here. We want to have plus 3, so 2u times plus 2, that will be plus 4, minus 1, that will be plus 3. So solving, u here will become, um, so here we have, sorry, let me, let me simplify this for you first. You'll have 2u minus 1 will be 0. Here we have u plus 2 will be 0. So the first value will be u is equal to half, and u will be minus 2. So here we have two values for u. But now we realize that we're not trying to find the value of u. We're trying to find the value of x in this question. 
So replace u back by your, your main substitution. So here we have, continue, u was found to be cos x, right? Now we know cos x is equal to half, or we can see cos x was found to be minus 2. Okay, so the first thing we realize is that this will be invalid. Invalid. So it will not give you any answer because we know that the value of cos x have to be between the value of minus 1 and 1. It cannot be more than those values, so it is past minus 1, it will not be possible. You can always check cos inverse of minus 2, not possible. It will be a math error in this case. So we can only proceed with this one. Now we can see cos is a positive value. So let's look at our quadrants. Let's see where does it fall. So this and this. We have A. So you have all A is positive. Then we have S sine and T for tan and cos is positive here. So here, because cos is positive, it will be in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. To find this angle, very simple, which is uh, x, and this one will be 360 minus x. OK, so let's do this. Now, because it is positive, I can do this directly. So x is equal to cos inverse of half. That will give you, of course, you use your calculator. So cos inverse of half. That will be 60 degrees. That is the angle in the first quadrant, right? And then to find this one, we take 360 minus 60. That will give you 300. So here for part one, we realize part two, x is equal to 60 and also 360 as your answer. Okay, this is part two of the question for a trigonometry question.